Hello guys, welcome to PC Drills where you find help on how to handle your PC related issues. Today we'll be talking about computer hardware components. This particular chapter is divided into many smaller lessons so that will be easy to add any other subtopic if we skip. Here we have lesson 1 which is an introduction into computer hardware components. So the objectives of this topic one will first of all look at an introduction into computer hardware components which is lesson one which is this one we are on lesson two will be input computer components lesson three will be pointing devices lesson four processing components lesson five components of the microprocessor the order might change throughout the course but these are the main things we need to cover so the objectives of this particular lesson is for us to have an introduction and see how computer communication works and we see the classification of hardware components this is the objective of this particular video for this particular lesson we are seeing introduction to computer hardware components so let's start with an introduction first item on our list is the introduction starting with the introduction computer hardware components are physical components of a computer system that facilitate communication between computer system and the computer user you can see the main words here i've written them in yellow color so computer hardware components are physical components meaning that you can see and you can touch for example when you say this is a screen this is a mouse this is a speaker all those components you can see them and you can touch them so those ones are computer hardware components those are just a few examples but when it's something inside the computer it is no longer a hardware component so an application inside the machine you type using microsoft office word and so on but those ones that are inside the machine they are not hardware components you cannot touch a game inside that you are playing so you don't call those ones computer hardware hardware are the physical objects that you see next we have how communication works actually for computers when you type or when you input or when you insert something into the computer it has to be converted into meaningful facts the point here called meaningful facts is just a way to tell you that it is in a manner that the computer can understand so if you input things into the computer for example you are typing a word document or you are typing maybe anything or you are typing a powerpoint or you are recording something the way communication works is when you input your own data into the computer when you type something maybe you press the letter a on your keyboard the computer will not understand exactly what has been typed so what we say later converted into meaningful facts here means that when you press the letter a on your keyboard the computer has to recognize what is a and generate the value that goes with that particular key on the keyboard so what I'm saying is, when you press the letter A on the keyboard, it is not directly A that the computer gets. The computer gets the ASCII version of A, which is the letter, the number 65. It converts 65, and know that this particular 65 corresponds to the letter A on my keyboard, and the letter, the number 65 is now translated into the letter A. And on the screen, you just see letter A coming out. But actually, behind the computer, you don't see letter A. 
computer saw with a number and that number is actually a binary value having lots of ones and zeros that gets converted into the number 65 in base 10 and it gets now into the form that the computer can understand and display so when the computer gets the number 65 coming from the keyboard it knows that this number corresponds to this particular letter and this is what I have to do I have to display it I have to print it I have to store it and so on so the computer sees something else or shows you what you need to see it's a little bit so uh, explain this way next you have the classification of hardware components it can be classified into various groups but the main groups that we have here are the input devices we have processing devices and we have storage and output devices those are the main groups so under the classification of computers you will always have this for input output storage and processing on the input you can have now manual and automatic on the storage you can have secondary storage primary storage and so on but these are the four main groups of classification of computer hardware components just before we end the video what you need to recall is when we say components throughout this video we are using the word components components here means peripherals it means devices so if you see somewhere they are talking about computer peripherals or computer devices just know that it's the same word these are synonyms so this is just something you should recall so before we end just we should say we talk about the rest within this particular course but for this one is just the introduction so we just have to bring you into the topic make you start to understand the base thanks for watching and we hope it was useful to you and if you are new around here please like and subscribe comment if you have any issues understanding anything and we will look into the issue and try to solve it and for this topic this is just the introduction next topic we move over to the lesson two of it and if you wish to contact us we have various links that you can use i use the facebook youtube twitter telegram and you can also send us a mail in our inbox thanks for watching see you next time on the next video we really hope you comment to give us suggestions on something you don't understand or what you would like for us to add or modify throughout the course thank you and see you on the next lesson bye